I'm taking you on a trip across Canada. We're gonna see the West Coast, the Rocky Mountains, the prairies, the Canadian Shield, and the Great Lakes. We're gonna go all the way over to the East Coast, and I want you to sit right here as we go on an adventure across Canada. Welcome to the Rocky Mountains and welcome to Banff National Park. Look at that beautiful mountain there. Wow, I'm right in the, the middle of the mountains here in a place called Banff. Now Banff is a big park. It's a huge area. Uh, you know, it, it, it takes up a, a lot of the mountains here in Alberta. Okay, so all of these mountains here are in Banff National Park. But Banff is also a town. Okay, so, so I'm just outside a little town called Banff. It's, it's probably one of the most popular tourist destinations in Canada. You know, when you see pictures of Canada, you probably see pictures of Banff. So Banff is, is the name of a town, but it's also the name of the park. Okay, so, so all this, this big area is, is called Banff National Park. You might have heard of Lake Louise. Lake Louise is uh, not too far from here. It's also in Banff National Park. It's also a little, little place with a nice lake. Uh, it's one of the most popular places in Canada as well. I'm going to take you there uh, in this in this episode. But right now, I just want to welcome you to the mountains, to the Rocky Mountains. And and one thing I want to mention is is the cost to get into a park in Canada you have to pay to get into into the national parks now there are a lot of national parks remember uh, the very first episode of of this series was in Pacific Rim National Park on the west coast on Vancouver Island so you have to pay to get in now if you just want to go for one day then I think it costs about ten dollars a day but if you want to go a few times a year, then what you should do is you should get a, a parks pass like I have here for my trip. I knew I was going to be going across Canada and probably going to several national parks. So I, I bought a parks pass for $67. Okay, so, you know, I guess if you're going to go like six or seven times to a nice place like this or anywhere else in Canada, it's probably worth getting a parks pass. And then you need to keep it in your car like this. Uh, it needs to be visible in your car. Um, otherwise, I think you'll get a ticket. Okay, so you can drive through parks, right? Like uh, actually the, the Trans-Canada Highway, the number one highway goes through uh, the, some of these parks, like Banff National Park. So if you're driving across Canada, you don't have to pay to go through a park. But if you want to stop and go hiking or or do other things in the park, then you need to pay. And uh, and if, like I said, then you could get a, a parks pass like this for 67 bucks. But if you're just going for a day, I think it's it's maybe less than t it's somewhere around 10 bucks. All right, it's time to look at the map and roll the dice. Okay, so my idea today is to throw the die as high in the sky as I can. And hopefully that gives me good luck. Are you ready? Here we go. Whoa, awesome. Yes, subscribe. All right, ah, that's good luck. Good luck to throw it as high as I can. Awesome. All right, thank you to all my subscribers. And now let's take a look at the map. Okay, so we were in Fernie, and now we are up here in Alberta, just pretty close to the border still. So we're gonna get a sticker, and we are going to put it right, see it right there, it says Banff NP. NP means National Park. Okay, actually we're, right now we're between Banff 
and Lake Louise. But uh, yeah, we're in we're in Banff National Park right up here. Wow. Look at that. We started over here, then went there, down, across, up. That's awesome. Where are we going to go next? Uh, you'll find out in the next episode. But in this episode, I just want you to enjoy these beautiful mountains and the nice forest here. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Wow. Take a look at this, guys. I'm at Lake Louise. Look at this. This is one of the most famous spots in Canada. If you ever see a picture of Canada, like on a calendar, or I'm sure you've seen a picture on the internet somewhere, uh, you've seen this spot right here, Lake Louise. It's just gorgeous. Take a look at the color of this water. Look at that. It's like an emerald green. And look at those beautiful mountains there. Wow. This place is just gorgeous and this nice hotel behind me. This is the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise right here. Isn't that a nice hotel? I wonder how much it costs to stay in there. Probably really expensive. But uh, I mean this, this spot, I'm sure you've seen a picture of this somewhere in your life. If you ever see a picture of Canada, this is, this is it right here. This is one of the most famous spots in Canada, Lake Louise. Just a beautiful lake here with the mountains. I mean, it's just, it's just perfect. It's really popular for this reason, just because it's so beautiful. Now, one thing I would suggest is that you don't come on a Sunday. Today is Sunday and it's really, really busy. Um, so don't come on a Sunday, but uh, hey, if you, even if you have to come on a Sunday, this is just so gorgeous. Uh, it's worth the view. I'm definitely gonna gonna take a shot of this and post it on my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, you're gonna see a picture of this. Just take a look at, at the color of this water. I hope my uh, I hope my GoPro is capturing this. Just look at that. <sighs> We're just walking around the town of Banff today. It's just such a nice, quiet, peaceful place. Although it's on the weekend, so it's a bit busy. It's probably better to come on a weekday. Hey, take a look at that cool mountain. Wow, Banff is just sort of a nice, it's a nice place. It's a really touristy place. So if you don't like touristy places, then probably better not to come to Banff. You can see the mountains in other places as well. But I just wanted to come here to show you, sort of show you the town, walk around, maybe look in, in some shops and see what downtown Banff looks like. Hey, look at this store. Rocks and Gems. Wow. Take a look at that. Wow. Look at that. Take a look at all these rocks and gems. So I'm just walking along the main street here in Banff. There's, there's one sort of main street that sort of goes through the middle of Banff and this is it right here. Um, so what do we have? We have the body shop, the spirit of Christmas. Oh, let's go in here, check out some Christmas stuff. Wow, look at that nice Christmas tree there. Christmas in the middle of June. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, we've got, you know, a lot of gift shops here, a lot of uh, just restaurants, nice restaurants. Look at that, there's another gift shop. Oh, look at that, maple syrup. Wow, take a look at that maple syrup. And the moose. Wow, that's cool. The moose is, is dressed like a, a Mountie, Royal Canadian Mounted Police with the with the red coat. That's what uh, that's what the police in Canada used to wear, like a red coat like that. They're called the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. A lot of a lot of gift shops, you know, when, when people come here, when tourists come here, they like to buy souvenirs, right, to take back to their, their country. So they might buy a bit of maple syrup, they might buy some, they might buy a t-shirt, right? Hey, remember this store, Cool as a Moose? It was also in Whistler, in Whistler, BC. Because there's, uh, there's one here in Banff too, if you want to be cool as a moose. Hey, look at these cute little socks. If you have a baby, you could buy some socks for your baby. 
Hey guys, look at candy shop. Look at all that good chocolate. Turkish delights. Mmm. Ice cream. Hey, look at this. A Canadian toonie. A two dollar coin made out of chocolate. That's awesome. Six dollars. Six dollars for a chocolate two dollar coin. I think that's a rip off. Oh, hey, look at this. A bag of loonies. Loonies are one dollar <coughs> coins in Canada. Chocolate loonies. How much are... Hey, only four dollars for a whole bag of loonies. It was like six dollars for uh, one toonie. And here you get, get a lot more bang for your buck with the bag of loonies. Hey, look at this cool store. Buy some nice Canada stuff in here. Look at this. I don't do mornings. It must be somewhere. <laughs> oh, it must be five o'clock somewhere. It must be five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Getting a bit hungry. I must eat my lunch soon. I must eat. Mmm, a popcorn shop. Look at that popcorn. Wow. Nice. Do you like popcorn? Mmm, there's so many like ice cream shops and uh, and, and then popcorn shops and coffee shops, tea shops, look there's David's Tea right there and clothing shops and sweets shops and gift shops. Hey guys check it out, a Sasquatch. Climbing up Sulphur Mountain here in Banff National Park and it's a beautiful sunny day. Look at this nice forest. Isn't that nice? Wish you could be on this hike with me. Hope there are no bears on this mountain. But if there are bears, I have bear spray. Check this out. I bought it before my trip, before I started my trip. It says Wild Max bear attack deterrent that sounds pretty good actually the person at the store uh, who i bought this from said this was more effective against grizzly bears than a gun so it's better to have it's better to have this bear spray than a gun because he said uh sometimes sometimes bullets just just bounce off the bear's head can you believe that he said the bears their their skull is so thick that bullets just bounce off. So he said this is actually more effective because you spray it and then it, it, it stings the bear's eyes. I think that's how it works. So you take off this orange thing here and then if I see a bear, I just hold it like this and then spray it into the bear's face and and the bear is supposed to to run away, I think, I hope. Hope this saves me from a bear if I see a bear, but it makes me feel better to have to have bear spray when I'm hiking. And this is there. There were two kinds of bear spray. I bought the strong kind against grizzly bears. I think the other one was kind of the same, but but he said this one was better against grizzly bears. So now I can hike up the mountain in peace and not worry about any bears. climbed up this mountain guys. Take a look at this. I made it to the top. Wow. I'm so tired guys. Climbed all the way up from there. Look how far down that is. It took me about uh, an hour and a half to climb up 
this mountain. Well, look at that view. What an amazing view. I'm gonna take a picture of that and post that on Instagram. I'm still out of breath from climbing up this mountain. <laughs> it's called Sulphur Mountain. Hey, can you see the Banff Springs Hotel down there? I think it's the, the Fairmont Hotel. Uh, I'll take out my nice camera and zoom in on it so you can see a closer look of it. Take a look at this guys, I'm taking the gondola. Wow, look at that view. Isn't this awesome? We're going down there and we've come from up there. Can't believe I hiked up this mountain. Looks so much bigger now I'm going down. When I was at the bottom, I thought, ah, oh, that doesn't look too big, I can hike up there. But now we're going down and it's, you know, it's really high. I mean, just look. Just look at that gorgeous view. Right now I'm making a video. See, I'm holding my, my other camera out here. Making a nice video for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 